Oh, welcome to a uh, special. This came about because I've been playing about with snow on here and some snow removal tools. And uh, the one I've got here, the bio, uh, bio belt I've been using, and it works well. I also got the Pottinger Universal Luder. Hopefully, still behind us. I'm using it for a very few mods, and no, I couldn't. I haven't managed to follow so we'll go back for it. And what I thought I'd do is I'd just uh, do a quick test on field 9 here, which we're just coming up to. This is about three levels of snow, um, so that should be a reasonable test for them. I'll just get this one in position and we'll pick the others up. This is on Sonofka, not the test map. It's one I've got snow on, and I added one extra layer. And this is a reasonably flat field we're going to be doing, so we'll start him back right here. We'll leave him alone at the moment, put the brake on. Oh, of course, we haven't got brakes now, have we? But it looks, like, it looks like I took everything out. I took so much out, I've got a clue what's left. Oh, this one's actually made it now. So we're just uh, take over from him. This is the Pottinger, good old faithful. Well, good old faithful. I was going to try a third, the Faz milling machine, but I decided I didn't want to play. You know, it's, in fact, as soon as I tried to reset it from the store, it crashed. It crashed the whole game. I remember now why I got rid of it. Right, we we start off with this. This is the snow plow. This is the blade. We'll have a quick look at it. And we'll have a look in store. I meant to get out. There we are. Looks the part. And uh, please don't ask me where I got it from. I cannot remember now and I can't find it anywhere. It was mentioned on the Slack channel of us for... Uh, Relimus modding who makes seasons but they have the free version and it doesn't last <laughs> it doesn't keep the stuff so I can't find the link anymore and so I have hunted but if you google you may well find it this is a stark I'll put what details I can in the description oh I was saying too that this has come about because I was doing this and I mentioned this in a reply to Ice because he liked to look the bio Belt. and I don't blame my look look that too and I said I've got a snow blade too and he was interested in that so I thought I'd show that off as well the trouble is because Sod's Law says I know you can't find where I got it from we'll have a quick look at them all in the uh, store and well the tractors are all JCB 8 foes and standard uh, at horsepower or just put one with yellows wheels and one was grey that's the only difference now the the blade will only work on uh, wheel loaders at the moment and I've just got the uh, JCB keep it all even uh, wheel loader and this comes in as you can see it's it's written it's got a capacity of 6,000 litres but it doesn't really matter and it that's all the typical crops, but snow is the one we're interested in. This was put down as a snow plow, so we'll see what it is. It's actually a leveller, but it works with snow. Most probably some of the others would as well, but I haven't tried them. Um, I'm happy with what I've got here. And this car comes in at 6,800. Now we get to the two blowers. The bio belt, this is the new kid on the block, just under 7,000, needs 40 horsepower, 3 metre width, 10 mile an hour top speed. Very nice looking thing, and it actually, oh, wrong, look at the wrong thing, sorry, comes at 7,000, needs 125 horse, capacity 100 litres, we'll get this right in a minute, I'll learn one day what I'm doing, 3 metre whip and it does all these crops 
as you can see it's a it's a good mount the pottinger near enough the same that's a bit cheaper at five furs and this is by ls modding company i can't remember who done the bio belt but it's on mod hub this is on pcsg and i can't find the other one but this comes in very similar to pottinger 100 uh, litre capacity that uh, doesn't give a pile requirement but i'm going to guess it's very similar goes a bit quicker but we're not too worried about the speed so without further ado let's have a take some of these through the paces so I'll, now the one problem i've got with this is trying to set the dusty thing up and i haven't switched me uh, i've got very little run and i and i haven't bothered to switch my uh uh, joystick on. I haven't got the wheel switched on either, but uh, that's because I don't think I'm really going to need it. So we we'll just take it just above the surface and see what happens. I'm going to use GPS to be fair with them all. And because I can't really see where it is, uh, but just tweak that round just slightly about there right with the GPS is switched on I'm going to use uh, cruise control but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down to cruise control a 5 mile half for its first pass and we'll give it a try and see what happens and it's just it's not very happy on GPS but the that's the problem with these uh, bendy bits of kipper that does work after a fashion. I think you get the idea. Let's take it over from GPS because it, it's not liking GPS at all. Just put it on a straightforward cruise and just hope it does. But you see it does clear a path until it gets to the point where it can't clear anymore and you get a heap. I think playing around with the height of the blade will probably cure this problem, but let's just put it down a bit. Dig it in slightly. Dig it in a bit more. No, so it doesn't. It works, but not as well as I'd want. Now I'm going to stop that one. I'm not going to bother with the rest of that to test. As you can gather, I'm not a great lover of the blade. All right, we we'll, we'll do the bio next. We will we'll try this one on GPS. Three point three meters it says there, but GPS is notorious at not getting the width right. As it, the shop said three, we we'll cut it down to three. Um, get the pipe. Right, so I must just check whether that's actually. Yeah, that's out. Right, I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pipe in front. Not too worried about whereabouts because that's the one that's going generally in front and we will pick it up. I'm going to bung the GPS in. Uh, we want X, we want un unfold. It's unfolded, and we need to just do uh, load anywhere because this uses the uh, or the tip anywhere script. All right, we try this. We take this again. We take it down to uh, about five miles an hour. I know it says the ten. We do one pass. If this works okay this way, we do one pass at five and one pass flat out. Now we should just turn it on of course. There we go. It's turned on and we need to lower it. Let's get everything right. Now we're in business. It took me halfway through this run to get it right. At five mile an hour it's not doing a terribly good job at cleaning, so we'll slow it down a bit. We'll slow it down to about three. Now this is deep snow. And what we do now, we just try move it to one side so it hasn't got to pick its own snow up. 
let's get rid of the well now she's cooking yes I think we're gonna to have to do that I think one or two layers of snow it's easy enough to get away put it in front and picking it up yourself now we we try it back up to five now I've got no other mods on here there's no gearbox there's no more realistic I'm using drive control or parts of drive control because I haven't got brake on there because I use it on gearbox I'm using gearbox on everything that's why I haven't got the handbrake just trying to figure that out but you see this is working rather well rather nicely I think you'd all be happy with what this is doing and we'll give it one run back and it looks apart and it also is that's the added thing it's like I used the Pottinger before and I normally use the Pottinger on my maps basically because it's on our own site to PCSG never advert for you and we're just about the end here we just this is just a field here so you know, the, I shouldn't worry too much about the textures in there right that would do we we lift it and I'm just gonna take it to the other side of the field here somewhere and we're gonna let it go flat as fast as, as it will allow us to go so we're just up that right up and lock into the thing just check we've still got tip anywhere it's still working yes lower it down and bingo now we'll see what she does flat out as she says not quite as good flat out in fact a lot of that's meant to have a working speed of 10 mile an hour which normally slows it right down it's not doing it on this so we'll take it down to see what happens we go about 10 mile an hour yeah 10 mile an hour does a reasonable job 5 looks best it, it clears everything so we probably won't try the flat speed we will try the flat speed on the other one quickly but that will do switch it off Fold it all up. Uh, we'll have a look at the Pottinger. Now this is the one I know best. I'm going to do the same again. Uh, unfold the pipe. I will this time put the pipe to one side. I'm not going to... No, well let's better do it fair. For the start we will do it so it's got to pick its own up. This has got the added thing of a little target laser in there. Oh. If I can remember which it is now, X. Yeah, it's got. If we, uh, we just come out of cab, I can't see it very well. Shows better in uh, in normal light conditions. Uh, oh no, there we are. That's it. We can see it now. I didn't know it enabled damn fool but this makes this bit easy now we're gonna bring in GPS yet again <laughs> um, that's certainly not six meters come on we just bring it right down to three meter again, which I think is about the width of this thing looks about right uh, we'll lock it into that. Hopefully it's gone near enough straight. <laughs> and all the way things go for me, I very much doubt it. Uh, we locked it in on there. We will switch it on. Drop it down. Switch on. Tip anywhere. There it goes. And now we will just slow down the cruise speed. We do a path at five mile an hour. There we go. And we'll see what sort of job this makes of it. Ah, 
and the unload here has failed already. Now I find this a bit that it the unload here doesn't always work. So we'll run it to one side and try again. Yes, it doesn't like to uh, put it in front of it, but put it to one side, isn't it? It's not a win. I have used this better than this on uh, one of the maps I'm playing. Used this on Blitzen, and I haven't had this problem. And there seems to be a, actually the unload hair script. I wonder if that's. Let me start right down. That will just keep going. No, that doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't like that. Let's try it. Let's try it behind. And one of the things with this, you can actually, of course, put it into a trailer. Hmm. So I think look, it's the clear winner. It's it's most probably the. Uh, Bile belt, because that's the one that kept the one no matter what. I put it in behind it. Well, now this, yes, yeah, the clear winner is the bile belt. This will do it, but it uh, needs a lot of work. In fact, I need a single key just to uh, put the unload, keep the unload here going. And we will do one other test and that's get I don't think I'm going to bother with the rest of the test on this one. It doesn't like the unload here, but we will actually put a trailer on behind each one. Right, so I'll go and take these back and I'm not going to bother with the... Oh. I shan't bother with the uh, blade. I think the blade's a non-runner right from the start. But I'm going to put a trailer on the back of this, so I need to buy a couple of trailers. This is the final part of the test. And then we will get to the conclusions. Uh, we have a decent sized trailer. Um, don't like dollies. Well, this whole 21. Yeah, we have two of these. One main colour green, yes, and one main colour white. Now, they're both down at the store, so what I will do now is hit the escape menu um, and bring, just drop both of those. Reset both of those. I wasn't going to do this at first, but uh, seems like a good a thing as any to do. And we'll shove them over the field. I've got crops growing on. I'm not too worried about the crops on this. This is a. Um, this is a map I'm not going to be playing anymore. Well, not this save anyway. I'll take them down one at a time and uh, do them on the field 14 here. Uh, and we'll see if they will both fill trailers okay. I know that one map I played and you could actually sell snow, which I thought was quite handy. I can't remember which one it was now. I play so many different maps, believe it or not. There we are. We take the white one here, this one. I'm just going to get in the cab, I find it easier to back up in the cab. I haven't even got. Right, we'll take the sheet off. Right now, what we need to do is, I'm going to get rid of our uh, GPS. We're going to do this freehand now, because all I want to do is just check. Well, 
Oh. Loading. Hell. Oh, oh pipe out. We look outside cab. Now that's, that's looking straight in there. So we'll see if this, whether this works. Right. Switch on. Lower it down. And see what happens now. I think I will put cruise up. Oh, oh. It's not cruise down a bit. Yes, now this works well. You should see it's tipping beautifully. Right, I shan't bother. That way, for certain that works. Now we take this one back out of this field. I must do a bit. Oh, it's that was a snow plow at the moment, that's better. This one you have to aim into the... Uh, I'll get rid of that, I don't want that up anymore. This one you have to aim it into the uh, trailer. But so far, as far as I'm concerned, the winner for snow is the bio belt. It, uh, well, it was built for snow. It was one of the things it was built for, and the other things are added extra. This was built for general stuff, and the fact that it will move snow was an added extra. Right, we'll just finish back up onto this, get this one hooked up. Under the sheet, I'm going to come out of the cab to line this thing up. That should do it. And we'll come alongside where we're already done. Back in this, getting this into the seat and let's set this thing up P V no what well, checker is actually lined up there that's got it A lot slower with this one running. Now this is a problem I have had with this one before. It doesn't always work as you expect. Ah, because I didn't have it going into the trailer. See, it's no auto on this. This is for people who like full manual control. Oops. But you see it's a lot slower, this is taking a lot more power to do it, but I think it's actually clearing a wider area. That six metre may not have been far out, let's just swing it over here. And try and get it on the straight and narrow. Let's speed it up a bit now. Once it speeds up, I think you find us missing some. But even so, it's done a good job. If you've got one of these on your farm, on your virtual farm, you won't need the bio belt. But if you haven't got anything else, then I would suggest a bio belt if you want some just for snow clearing. I certainly would not and cannot recommend the blade. And that is also someone else what will happen. It will show it running all the time. No, it will clear. Now this has a capacity in the actual uh, body of it, so you will always get some left in there if you fill right up to the top. That didn't take long to fill up. Let's just go back to this one again. And just finish filling the... Uh,
the trailer up. Quite a bit quicker, but I don't think that's quite a wide sweep. I don't think actually this one has got the uh, the stop in to stop you going too quick. So we could take it back to uh, uh, we're full anyway, so we don't get any more out of that. But there we have it. I'll just take this up and just run this over to the other one. Alright, my recommendation if you haven't already got a blower on your farm and you want some money for snow, which will do other things, take the bio. I'll just turn that off. Turn that off, turn that off. Just go up there and just turn the engine off here. That's better than having to think though. So in in short, let's come over and have a look at them. If you've got this on the farm, use this. You just be aware it won't tip anywhere as well as the bio belt. But you see they're both well made pieces of kit. Nice textures, this is the dirt on this is, this is actually one I have used a lot, money for muck. I find it perfect for putting muck into a wagon. And I should imagine you can do the same with this, I haven't tried. And when that closes off, let's just, let's just um, fold that. Which one we in? <laughs> Now we're in this one, that's why we haven't got an actually fold on there, so we'll go back to this one. Come out. It's a little hole just clears off when I open. It's better, that little noise you were hearing was that trying to find an empty trial or something to tip into. But there we have it. That is the uh, tool. I cannot recommend a blade, I'm afraid. Apart from fact, I don't know where the hell I got it from. But it, it works, but it's a bit, a lot more fiddly and it only works on wheel loaders. So if you're like me and never use a wheel loader, it's no good to you. Unless you know enough of XML or Blender stuff to get the fit on uh, a front loader, which is where it should be. <laughs> But there you've seen them both, so I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. If you if this has been if this has been handy for you to decide, uh please leave a like. If you're not a subscriber and wish to see more of this, and we will be back on the proper Sonoskanot on Monday. Well it'll be released Sunday night. Ready for Monday, this is uh British time. Uh I will be back playing this properly again. Well, it's proper as I ever play it. Just on a quick vape. I feel a lot better for it. It's my age, you know. Uh, yes, so uh, if you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe. Always happy to have you aboard. Any comments, questions, queries, suggestions. And this is not something I do very often. A uh, tool test. I should really just say where I got this from. This is actually on Mod Hub now. And this one is on PCSG. Both very safe sites to use. I think this is only ju just fairly recently gone to Mod Hub. I couldn't find it on there a while ago when I was looking for it. But this works very well indeed. And I shall probably use that on any farm I'm not using the uh, Pottinger on or I may even use that instead of the Pottinger but because I've been admin on PCSG I like to use all stuff uh, yes um so with any questions queries comments or so feel free to post them uh, in the comment section below this video I read every one I try and reply to everyone and with that it's me and Santa cheerio for now cheerio